In this video, we're going to talk about the electromagnetic spectrum, all of the electromagnetic radiation, the different types that can be carried by photons. Now, all of these electromagnetic waves, they all travel at the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. The speed of light of an electromagnetic wave is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. What you need to know is that as you move towards the right, that is towards the radio waves, the wavelength increases. Radio waves have the longest wavelength out of all the electromagnetic radiation in this spectrum. As you go towards the left, the frequency increases. So gamma radiation has the highest frequencies. X-rays, for instance, are higher in frequency than ultraviolet radiation. Microwaves have greater frequency than radio waves. Now, as the frequency increases, the energy increases as well. Gamma rays have more energy than photons that are x-rays. Ultraviolet radiation has more energy than visible light. So you need to be able to compare these different forms of radiation in terms of their wavelength, energy, and frequency. The energy of a photon is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. Now, Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. So this equation shows that the energy of a photon is directly proportional to its frequency. So as the frequency goes up, the energy of the photon goes up as well. But now let's work on some practice problems. Number one, which of the following has the longest wavelength? Is it x-rays, microwaves, UV radiation, or visible light? What would you say? Now, I like to remember the previous chart, but in a reverse way. First, we have radio waves, and then come microwaves. After that, it's infrared. After infrared, we have visible light. Roy G. Biv, so it's red light, then it's orange, and then yellow, and then green light, blue light, and then we have violet, and after violet is ultraviolet. But this ends visible light. We can't see ultraviolet radiation. After UV radiation, we have X-rays and then gamma radiation. Now remember, radio waves has the longest wavelength. Wavelength increases towards radio waves. Gamma rays has the highest frequency and it also has the highest energy. So energy and frequency increases towards gamma radiation. So looking at the options that we have, we're comparing microwave radiation, visible light, UV radiation, and x-rays. So looking for the longest wavelength, that's going to be the one towards the left. Therefore, it's microwave radiation. So the correct answer is answer choice B. Now let's move on to number two. Which of the following forms of electromagnetic radiation has the highest frequency? Is it X-rays, UV radiation, radio waves, or infrared radiation? So let's highlight all the options that we're looking at. 
or that's under comparison. So we have infrared radiation, UV radiation, X-rays, and radio waves. Out of these four, which one has the highest frequency? It's going to be the one closest to the right. So the one with the highest frequency out of what's listed here is X-rays. So the correct answer choice is answer choice A. X-rays has the highest frequency of the options listed. Number three, which of the following colors of visible light has the highest energy? Red light, blue light, yellow light, or green light? So let's circle our options. We have red, yellow, green, or blue. Out of those four, which one has the highest energy? We know that energy increases towards the right. So out of those four colors of visible light, it's going to be blue light. Blue light has more energy than red, yellow, or green light. However, violet light has more energy than blue light, but that wasn't one of the options. So answer choice B is the right answer for this problem. Now let's try number four. A photon of UVA radiation has a wavelength of 200 nanometers. What is the frequency of this photon? So how can we calculate frequency given wavelength? We know that the speed of light is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. So to get the frequency, we need to divide by lambda. The frequency is going to be equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So we could use that formula for part A. The speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And the wavelength of this particular photon of UVA radiation is 200 nanometers. We can write that as 200 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. We can cancel the unit meters. And let's plug this in the calculator. So it's 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 200 times 10 to the negative 9. And this is going to be 1.5 times 10 to the 15 hertz, or 1 over seconds. So that's how we can calculate the frequency of this photon. Now let's calculate the energy. The energy of the photon is going to be Planck's constant times the frequency. So that's 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds. And then the frequency is 1.5 times 10 to the 15 hertz or one of his seconds. The unit seconds will cancel, so we're going to get the energy in joules. So multiplying those two numbers will give us this answer. 9.939 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So this is the answer for part A, that's the frequency, and this is the answer to part B. That is the energy of a single photon of UVA radiation with a wavelength of 200 nanometers. Now let's move on to part C. What is the energy of the photon in electron volts? So we need to convert joules to electron volts. One electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So what we need to do is divide our answer by this number. So this is going to be 6.2 electron volts. So think about what this means. A UVA photon with a wavelength of 200 nanometers has the same energy as an electron with 6.2 volts.